very, very fruity. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new spirit here on my cask. It's a King's Barnes. Never heard of that. King's Barnes is a newly built distillery in the eastern lowlands, uh, south of the, the golf course of St. Andrews. And the distillery was built inside an old barn or barns uh, which were there for the well for the taxes from the uh, farmers paid in well in cereals in barley in corn uh, to the crown to the king of the kingdom of five there's the kingdom of five um, <clears throat> and this old uh, barns, well, they were in very bad shape and uh, they, well, reconstructed everything so that from the outside the distillery looks, well, old uh, with a tower and uh, with gothic shaped uh, windows. And inside, behind the walls, there's a newly built distillery covered to the outside by the old ancient walls and uh, well the distillery was finished in the end of 2014. Um, I visited uh, this King's Barnes distillery uh, a couple of weeks ago in April 2016 and the founder uh, Douglas Clement of the King's Barnes Distillery gave me a, a wonderful tour. Thank you for that. And he gave me uh, this small little bottle where here on top uh, he signed the bottle. Founder. Um, and uh, well, he was a, a golf caddy for a, well, for a professional. And you say golf caddy. Oh. Oh. Well, a golf caddy is a very professional job and uh, you have to not only help the professional uh, with the right equipment, but you have to look after the golf course, uh, have to play it yourself, uh, giving hints so that the professional to the exact time of the tournament has the best chances to win. This is the work of a caddy and during his work on the golf courses, he had the idea, uh, probably on the old ancient course of St. Andrews, he had the idea to build this distillery inside these old barns. But uh, Capital uh, and the Wims family, where I had some well blended malt whiskies here on my cask, as well as a, the last one had been a Glengarry 1989, uh, single casks, uh, the Wims family, uh, they financed the distillery and uh, well it's producing since the end of 2014 and uh, even when it's located in the lowlands the well the style of the distillery is very highland so you have these typical two pot stills not the three ones um, the shape is more highland style than lowland style, where the, the stills come from Forthai's uh, copper works in, in Rothes. Uh, they produce, Richard Forthai's, he produces, well, over 50% of the stills for Scotland. And uh, in the new time, in the modern time, he also produces for the micro distillers in the US. He has a dependency over there. <clears throat> so wonderful. This is a spirit drink. That means directly from the still, no maturation in casks. And uh, after three years, so in the end of 2017, there will be the first three-year-old King's Barnes single malt whiskey on the market. And until then, we have to stay with this uh, uh, new make. And this is put into the bottle at 63.5 ABV. The price is around 17. Uh, not that cheap, but... Uh, well, it's the first look and a small bottle, 0.2 liters. So there the whiskey is a little bit more expensive inside such a small <laughs> bottle. The cork is no cork, it's plastic. 
that wonderfully, sweetie. Yeah. <clears throat> so here we go. 63.5 is exactly the strength with which the whiskey goes into the casks at nearly all distilleries in Scotland. This has the reason um, that in former times casks were switched between the producers and they said, well, this cask is 10 years old and this is 10 years old. We filled both 63.5 into the cask, so we swap and do not have to measure the content. Very, very fruity, a very light alcoholic note. And this fruitiness comes uh, from the fact that they use two yeast strains in King's Barns. Uh, the typical mass product produced, uh, the mass product uh, single malt whiskey from the Space Side and the Islands just have one yeast strain and they ferment it as fast as they can and after three, four days they stop the fermentation and go into production and here they uh, ferment a lot longer, 72 hours and up, and they use two different yeast strains inside one fermenter so that there is a more complexity developing in the taste and the extra uh, uh, yeast strain produces a lot of fruitiness. Some floral notes, a little malty, Yeah. So this is a smooth, fruity new make. You get this fruitiness or, or no, the smoothness of the whiskey or the new make you get by uh, distilling slowly. So the flow uh, which comes out of the spirit still has to be, well, not too fast that there are not those unwanted substances going with uh, the alcohol and the water over in the condenser. So the flow should be small. We discussed that a lot. And uh, well, if the pot stills are not too big, then you can have a smaller flow and still keep to the eight hours of distillation. More open, more fruitiness some nectarines, pears, and maltiness. Smooth, fruity, no caramel, no spiciness, no vanilla. Everything which comes from the cask isn't in here. And wonderful, no metallic youthness. So the distillation took place in that a slow manner uh, that those substances were left behind. And this is the perfect start for a good maturation. Yeah. Well, but it's a new make, uh, and the whiskey lives from the cask as well as the distillery character. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, there's more to come and feel free to share this video with your friends and add your comments in our whiskey database and in our forum on